Rainbow Acrylics. Um, I've got an exciting pour to do today. So I did this pour um, a week or a couple of weeks ago um, and I've had so much really, really positive feedback about it, um, about the colour combinations, um, about the curves um, within the painting um, and it's sold virtually instantly. So with the, this painting in mind, um, I'm going to do um, a square canvas. I'm going to mix up, it's going to be um, straight pour, canvas I'm going to mix up six cups and do six straight pours on this but not in lines instead I'm going to puddle them right in the center and then I'm going to try and tilt the canvas around so that you you get that sort of flower type design with the with the separation of the six uh, blocks of color um, I've never done this before. I watched um, uh, another artist on YouTube yesterday who did it, um, and I just, it looked fab, looked really, really good. Um, so I'm just gonna try it. So I'm gonna use exactly the same colors that I used um, with the other uh, previous painting. So Montmartre colors, magenta, um, purple, and ultramarine blue. The Montmartre gold will go in all six of the cups. And I'm using Artina White, which again will go in all six of the cups. So three cups, two cups will be per, uh, pink, two cups will be purple, two cups will be blue with white and gold in all of those. And then I'm gonna pour them in the center um, and see what happens. So I'm gonna start mixing up my paint. So I've mixed all my paints. Um, all the paints are mixed 50-50 paint and pouring medium. My pouring medium is my PVA glue and water mixture, which is two thirds PVA glue, one third water. Um, I've had to add a splash of extra water, especially to the pink um, and the gold because they're just, they're just really quite thick. So just to show you the sort of consistency, um, it runs really nicely off the stick it makes a little trail. Actually, gold's not the best to show you because um, it reacts differently because it's metallic. So it pulls really nicely off the stick and it creates a little trail and a mound when you um, when it pours on top of itself. So that's the thick, that's the consistency I want. So I've added the water to uh, get them all to a, a similar consistency. So two cups for each color. So I mustn't get this confused. So I'll start with the white. So I'm going to be alternating blue, gold and white in two cups. Um, I'm gonna do white first, so I get white coming out in the center and I'm just running the paint just down the edge. Um, mixed up all my cups just to show you how they how they've turned out so pink the purple and then the blue I'm going to put down a puddle of paint in the center now I've got quite a lot of gold left so I'm just going to put a puddle I've thinned it down slightly I'm just putting um, a puddle down. I'm just going to just move it around, spread it out a little bit. And I'm doing this so that when I pour the paints on, they will glide really nicely over the canvas. In fact, because I'm doing six puddles, I'm gonna need more. Right, I'm gonna put more. I'm gonna put it all the way around. I'm going to put the puddles in the center and then tilt them out. So the difficulty I'm going to have is remembering where the center is because as I start putting the paint on it will look different. Okay, it doesn't matter because I'm going to tilt it. 
So the centre is about there. So just don't know if this will work or not, but we'll give it a go. So I'm going to pour six puzzles around here. Right, so I have got far too much paint. So I'm going to try three puddles and see what happens. I can't, I'm not going to fit six of these on. I've got far too much paint here. So let's go here. What I'm doing this time is twisting the cup around so that you, you get the variation of colour in the design because often I find that with the straight pores I end up with half a one colour and then half the other colour. Um, whereas if I twist it round, hopefully it spreads the colour change um, throughout the whole block of colour. Right, so have I got enough paint on my canvas? So if I tilt that out, am I going to have enough? I don't know. I'm quite happy when I really stretch it out because the design really opens up. I think that's what I'm going to try because I can't, if I put more paint on here, it's just going to go to waste. So what I need to do is put paint around here. I've got my leftover paints. I'm thinning it down a little bit with water. I don't know if you can see here, but the design is already rolling over itself. So by putting the paint down, it will stop that happening. all the air bubbles with my blowtorch. I'm just going to do it very slowly. I'm just going to try and get it to spread out. painting. Um, sorry I went a bit quiet on the video earlier. I was just concentrating and thinking oh my goodness what's happening, how am I going to do this, tilt this, 
Um, this is very different from anything I've done before, so um, it was a bit unfamiliar, so I, I'm afraid when I concentrate, I don't talk as much. Um, so here it is. I am so happy with it. Um, three distinct sections um, with gold in between. Um, the, let's go down for a close-up. I want to show you in particular the edges because I love them. Look at the edges. So if you've got this on your wall and you're looking around at your painting, um, whatever angle you're at, you've got just this beautiful brightly coloured edge. Um, so let's just go in for a close-up. So obviously this is the pink, gold and white section. The detail is amazing. So the cent that, that bit on the corner is actually the centre of the cup. So you can see how much this, this um, puddle of paint has stretched. Um, in contrast, here's the blue one. So the, you can see that the centre of the puddle, that bit in the middle there, isn't near the corner. So it's, it's quite well within the canvas. And then the purple section. So the purple section went a bit crazy um, and it's a really interesting shape. Um, again, this is the central bit, which is quite near the edge of the canvas. Um, but I love the composition. Um, you, I couldn't have planned this. Um, it's just the way it's turned out, but I'm really happy with it. No straight lines, lots of nice wavy, wavy lines. Um, I've massively um, overestimated the amount of paint I needed for this because I, if you can see there, I've still got three full cups of paint. So good news is I'm going to do another, <laughs> another um, straight pour with the same colours. Um, so um, I will show you this dry next. And this is it dry. Um, I couldn't be happier. I just love it. I, it's so bold, it's so colourful, it's so weird, it's so interesting. Really happy with it. It's taken a long time to dry because I had so much paint on there. Um, I love the irregular lines, the fact that the three sections are just totally different to each other, different shape. I've moved it in every position um, to, to see which way I prefer it. And I think I just, I still prefer it this way, which was the way I painted it. Um, but I often find that, I often find I prefer it the way I've painted it. Right, that looks yellow. It's not yellow at all, it's gold. Um, and if I move the camera, I don't know if you can, no, you can't see it at all. It just, it just shimmers, it's gorgeous. But it looks very yellow. It's not yellow, it's, ju it's just beautiful gold colour. I just love how distorted it is. And it's just really interesting. And then I just really like the bright, bright white and gold lines in the centre. There's the blue section. It's just so bright and so bold and just so eye-catching. I'm really pleased with it. And as I said in the wet close-up I showed you, um, I just really love all the edges because there was so much paint on the canvas it just poured over the edges beautifully so you've got the continuation of the pattern um, down the edges of the canvas. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell um, and uh, see you next time. Bye.